That's what I thought. I thought it was a peregrine, but I don't. Yeah. Yes. And the face looks like. I mean. So 2020, we got 480 uh, five birds in that year. And then last year, 2021, we had 703 birds come into our hospital. Just unbelievable numbers. Um, and we don't know, we really don't know why. I mean, there, we have some indication of, um, I know some people were out and about more outdoors during the pandemic, so maybe they were happening across um, injured animals. Uh, 2021, we had the heat dome, uh, the event where we had the very, very high temperatures. That was right during nesting season for many raptor species, so we had a huge bump for that. These birds were found about 48 days ago. They, uh, Norris and Harriers are ground nesters, so the, the grass which was covered during their nest was mowed away by the farmer. So he put them up in the box and he called us in. So we, we actually took them in and raised them at the rapture center. that we have the kind of the group mentality of wanting to learn, uh, wanting to do better, want to get better at our jobs, um, do better work, um, be better trainers, be better rehabilitators, be better um, educators to the public. And so I think that's that ability to grow um, and to, to develop professionally um, in all aspects of our organization is just really just been amazing. What I feel our greatest legacy is, um, well, sort of twofold. That, you know, we literally released thousands of animals to back to be a contributing member of their populations. Um, you know, whether that is has any significance or not depends probably on the species and how how healthy the overall species is. Um, I think almost more importantly is the awareness that we've created in the community that A, this service exists, and B, why it's important, you know, just sort of the, the respect that that creates. And, and it's, it's an affirmation to people who care. Oh my God, a bird just hit my window. What do I do? And for them to know that there's some place they can take it for help is really affirming to them that their caring is correct, that their caring is important. You know, we've become uh, a, a leader in, you know, other for other organizations and helped other organizations also increase their skills um, and their, you know, best practices while they're taking care of um, animals. To me, what's really important about having the 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 people as as, as a legacy in this community is that um, they share this vision that we're that we've created so far together and are you know there's more to come and that that um, because of, of my faith in them and the fact that we have such a strong supportive community that it means that we'll be here for the long haul that we'll be in service to the community and to the birds and all of that for a long time People need these kind of messages at the moment. People are, life is really depressing at the moment, whichever direction you look, it's full of disastrous news. So even if it's just a tiny, tiny glimpse of which tells people that we can make a difference, we can make a difference too. 
to help the, uh, the globe or nature stay beautiful. We can make, even if it's a tiny, tiny contribution, people really need these messages and they are happy to help making this possible. And we are happy to share these moments to keep people's spirits up and to help these animals to stay here and to recover and provide good habitat for them and help protecting them all together.